everyone welcome to my inktober 2016 video this one is video number five and it's for days 15 to 21 it's for the whole week my previous videos were only for a few days but this time i decided to put them all in one video and it's gonna go super fast i'm already inking day one and i decided to go with pigment liner on bristol and that's a decision i immediately regretted and since i wasn't very happy with it i decided to use copic markers anyway and just practice my copic um you know um, sorry that was a bit of a long pause uh, because why not i don't use copic for my finished artwork in general because they're not light fast and i kind of want stuff to last a long time um the colors anyway to last a long a long time and so I don't know, this, uh, this sketch didn't do it for me, the, I'm really happy with what I'm doing right now, which is freehanding those leaves, I think that worked very well. And that's going to be a scene you're going to see recurring in the next um, in the next image, in the next picture, pretty much. So now I'm doing some highlights, and that's pretty much it for this one. And now we're on to day uh, 16, and um, I was streaming, I did the sketch. I'm pretty sure I did the sketch off stream and then I started inking and doing this, um, ink washes on stream. And um, yeah, I, I, I had an idea for this one. Here you can see me using my heat tool so that I can move on quite quickly. And I'm using a paintbrush. This time I'm using paint, paintbrush in size 2 uh, slash 0, so it's very tiny. And I'm using Unzer and Newton Chillet ink in black, which I really like. And now you can see me freehanding some more leaves. Uh, I'm on the, I'm on a big nature flowers leaves kind of kick at the moment. I, I just can't get enough of it. All my artwork has got something, um, you know, plants, something happening. Anyway, so. I had a pretty clear idea what I wanted for this one and fairly early on I also knew that I was going to add an extra color and this color for this one is going to be green and I'm going with, uh, oh, you can see another a sketch that's currently being painted. So I used my polychromos and a little bit of white to fix a couple of mistakes and add some highlights and I'm on to day 17. Um, looks like I was um, a day behind and so I'm sketching this one and I didn't get to finish that um, this one in, um, on the day I finished it a day later but I did all my sketching so I, I was trimming so I was explaining what I was doing and how I was doing it and why I was doing it so that's why sometimes you see me doing weird stuff and I really liked the face of this one, she was really sweet, so I wanted something that um, highlighted the sweetness and I decided to go for hair with braids because I never do braids and stuff like that and braids and this sketch again, sorry, <laughs> so I should have trimmed that out but it's going so fast anyway and ink wash, I think I only managed to do the ink wash on that day, maybe a bit of inking but I'm not sure I finished it on the next day. And so yeah, I, I, I considered using my nib holder for that nib and nib holder, but I didn't like the feel of it. I wanted something a bit freer. So I went back to my paintbrush and I've been really enjoying inking with my paintbrush. Even though my paintbrush is a bit, um, I don't know, the the, the few hair that weren't behaving so I went out yesterday and bought another paintbrush but it's not it's not as good anyway uh, I'll explain that later next week video and for this um, sketch I'm using red that day sketch and I decided to challenge myself with a profile kind of face I rarely do sorry I rarely do a profile view because I find them quite challenging to make them look right but I decided to give this one a go I, I found a, a reference pic very quickly and um, 
and then I decided to give it a go and that was a bit scary because I was streaming and I thought um, you know people are gonna think I'm not very good but it, it turned out better than what I feared so this sketch was I really like this sketch in, anyway and um, the finished image it's one of my favorites oh sorry I was showing a painting that I had worked on a few uh, weeks ago it's not finished yet so yeah and I'm doing the ink wash and um, decided to go at the same it's another painting sorry <laughs> and um, showing what I've been working in Inktober and you can all see all of those in my previous videos by the way if you there's going to be a link for the playlist at the end of this video and you can see all my Inktober video and I'm inking with my paintbrush uh, same process using Winsor & Newton ink again and uh, detailing the flowers and the hair I had a lot of fun doing the hair I had a few oopsies but I managed to fix them and um, be good, be happy with the end product and I'm doing the shading, that was also something that was terrifying to me and um, I, it, it, I think it's a very very strong picture especially at the end when I add the color, I decided to go for pink and uh, it works pretty well and a little bit of white, I was gonna add some highlights in the flowers but I decided not to now on to the next picture i'm pretty sure that's the next day because i did this one i started it off stream and then i finished a sketch on stream and i decided to go for a man now if you've been watching my videos uh, or if you've been following me on twitch you know that i rarely if ever do men i, I mean I, I sketch i draw men uh, when i'm at live drawing class and the model model is a man but I never do illustration with um, men. So I decided to challenge myself and that's something I really enjoy this introvert is challenging myself with subjects I never tackle. Uh, so more old painting and more watercolor. So I should have edited this video a bit better. I was in a rush to get it out to you guys. Um, but you can see what I'm working on. <laughs> So now the hinking of the hair, I'm uh, really happy with how this one turned out. And yeah, a bit of shading, shading worked out pretty well. Playing with the contrast and the lighting because it was really hard to see how it looked in reality on the camera. And I'm using, I think I'm using Prussian blue or maybe cobalt, no it was cobalt blue uh, for the detail and I'm showing in my we're on to the next day and I'm sketching I think I'm trying out a man again and oh no I'm going for a woman yeah I'm going for a woman I thought I was sketching a man but no and this one I wanted some kind of flowy hair I like flowy hair and I tend to integrate that in a lot of my painting and same process wash I start by wetting the paper and then I put a very light ink wash down dry that then move on to the clothes and the hair I think I did two wash on this one because I wanted it darker and now the inking pretty much getting ready and done with this one the hair was um oh, I wasn't feeling too how can I say it? I was feeling a bit tense when I'm doing the hair so it didn't turn out as good as I would have liked but it's still better than other days uh, and uh, you know I, I can live with that and I think this one might be the last one forgot to, to count I'm pretty sure we're getting to the end of the week and I decided to go for a man again and I used a reference picture and I done the sketch of, of, uh, of camera I realized and then I started doing the ink wash and I started recording it and it's the same process every time 
I do my ink wash first and then I do my inking. I like that because I like the ink go going, uh, the ink wash uh, not being bound by the, the inking. I like to be having a little bit of freedom uh, in my ink wash and I think it's working pretty good. I was going to do uh, and it's purple for this one. The color bounce is really wrong, but um, yeah, the lips didn't make it. Anyway, that's it for this um, wink of Inktober, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye bye.